Okay, back again. Now, <clears throat> this one has odd menus from what I'm used to. Uh, I want to try Rescue City. I started to say I'll do Fail Safe, but it doesn't have any graphics to be worried about that. I mean, I could read the text and everything. Usually, Fail Safe is just a different. Uh, uh, fail safe for graphics, you know, get that to work. Make sure you're on the internet. I'm afraid that it just doesn't have a driver that'll work with this uh, Ethernet chip. This is a built in Ethernet, it's a gigabit Ethernet, so uh, maybe newer than this thing is used to. It just went back to the same screen. I mean, different than the first one. That probably is the default. I'll just go into proxy settings for grins. And I don't have a proxy server, so oh now I can't move. Hit the arrow key. Okay, I'm gonna have to do tab, I guess. Yeah, tab, cancel. Okay. I'm gonna hit restart computer because I know it's not gonna work. <coughs> and hopefully it'll still recognize it won't get hung up. I had to do the whole thing of taking the USB stick it out and putting it back in again to get it. It kept trying to boot to Windows. Hopefully, with just a plain reboot, it will be all right. And uh, <clears throat> not give me a headache. I'll try uh, failsafe this time. I was thinking that from the beginning there that this might be the one. That's usually the one that. But it's not a video problem, so I got a feeling that I am not going to get it to work. I've tried everything except for failsafe and mem test, so I don't need to do a mem test. Sees it's a dual core. Okay, no file for saving personal data. Oh, if you don't want to, leave it blank. So you don't give me any time, man. You better start typing fast. Ah, uh, same old menu. It's not going to work. Oops. Okay. I'll just try it one more time, but uh, F-Secure won't run on this machine, evidently. So if you've got an ASRock motherboard that's within about two, three, four years old, it's probably not going to run on there. Wait. I spoke too soon. This could take a little while. Downloading Hydra Linux. Downloading aqua package virus definition database okay now why did that work I have no clue but fail safe it works it's now found the it found the uh, network card the net card and it's all really quickly just started downloading my database so it's at 23% shouldn't take too long on something like this. When you got a graphic user interface, it can take 5, 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes sometimes to download that database, just the databases. This looks like it's going pretty fast. <coughs> but I think, no, I'll leave it. I was going to say I'll stop and start back up, but it'll jump to the scan before I get this phone on and off again. <coughs> I just knew I was fixing to have to cough. <clears throat> so I'll just try to be still. I've got to have a drink at least. Get some water over here while this is doing this. <coughs> I have my other phone. I'll put up rubber band into a cassette case and I can make it still but I don't have a good place to set it right here in front of my nose is what needs to be to get a straight shot at my monitor okay downloading rescued starting automatic update I look down to the bottom validating aqua package aqua packed okay it's working Okay, nothing to remove. Rechecking USB. Hmm. Press enter to continue. I'll wait five seconds. Oops. Five seconds goes by fast. 
F secure license and terms oh okay carefully read all that I remember saying that in the PDF read that and agree to that of course what are you gonna do not agree okay error over to the left and agree Hit enter <coughs> now then master boot record good Windows Drive 200 yeah okay and SDB1 Windows Drive that is my I've had thought no, I don't want to do that on this. It'll delete. It'll delete everything that has a virus definition in it. I have virus scanning apps on there, executable files and stuff. I've had thought about. Uh, I might want to scan this with one of my scanners and go ahead and let it do it. But F Secure is brutal, and it'll just break everything in there. I mean, as far as I know, there's nothing bad in there. But I also have those Windows ISOs. It could. I don't think it'll reach inside of an ISO. I think it would just delete the whole thing or something. Or rename it. <coughs> That's what it said it is. It rename it. But, uh, yeah, since F-Secure is so strict and brutal about how it works, I know this from using it before, and I'll just uh, just do my Windows Drive. I don't, don't want to do my uh, USB that I'm running from. S SDB1. It's, it's, this is a Windows Drive because it's a... Uh, VFAT NTF uh, FAT32 VFAT's what they always call it. Okay, go. Um, my finger is really close to the camera lens. Well, actually, not as close as I thought. Okay. F1 this screen. F5 to see details of files being scanned. Oh, F6 to see any malware find found. Control C to cancel scanning. Okay, scan started. Okay. No malware find s found so far. Of course, this should take, this could take three hours. I mean, it usually does with the other graphic scanner, user interface scanners. Uh, as long as it doesn't get hung up like it did with uh, Dr. Webb. Kuelt. <coughs> so, um, There's nothing to see. I mean, you can, I could do the F5 and all that, but there's nothing to see. Alt F5, not just F5. Okay. So I'm just going to let it scan. Put my little keyboard off to the side. Go back to my other machine and tell the truth. It, uh, I may go get the old bath and start getting ready for bed because I've been up since last night around 10 or something. It's about 1 in the afternoon now, so yeah, I'm going to let it run. So, wow, persistence sometimes does pay off, but actually, you know, I've ran, I've piddled around with so many different Linux distros of, of the last 11 years. That I've learned kind of things that you just learn by trial and error. So, uh, and of course, uh, my first thought was just try the uh, go to the. Um, I forgot the right word, but the one that I ended up using last, I went to it last instead of first. I could have uh, went to it first, but I thought, oh, this menu looks different. I want to try these other things. So I did. I tried them all. And. Uh, for whatever reason, that, uh, that NIC card didn't work until I used that uh, basic mode. Okay, I can say the right word. Anyway, this is done. And I will try to come back when this is finished and show some of the reasons. Show what happened here. Uh, I don't know if it'll... I, th I think when it's done, it may just... Uh, I know there's a report. I think it'll probably save a report on here somewhere or something. Or it'll show a report, you know. It may not, it may just show you a report of what it did. I don't remember well enough, but uh, of course it may. Some of these things, you know, they'll. Uh, for instance, a vast. It shows your report, and then you've got like thirty, you know, thirty seconds or a minute or two, um, two minutes or whatever to uh, to uh, hit a key or something. Uh, 
or else it'll just re go ahead and boot back into Windows. That's what a vast uh, boot time scan does. And some of these others will do things like that. Well, most of them will stop and let you see that report and ask you what to do, but this one I can't remember. So hopefully it'll stop and wait because I won't be here looking at it, you know. I'll be either on the other computer or getting a shower or whatever, eating. But if it takes three hours, then heck, I might have to go. I might be just about ready to go to bed. I probably shouldn't have. I should have. I kind of thought, do I really want to start this? But I wanted to get it done because I've been two days filling, filling around with Sardu, trying to make it work. I finally gave up. See, I could have done this. This took me all 30 minutes to try VBA and then it didn't work. Using a UNET boot and put VBA on there, tried it, it didn't work. And then, then, uh, uh, F secure put put it on there and tried it and finally got it to work so you know inside of 30 40 minutes I, I could have been back in business that's why I kept saying I don't want to keep really full with that Sardu too long I just really like those multi boot sticks I get one built and I, I like to hang on to it for until that software gets too old to be much use you know but uh, since I don't have a bunch of SD cards you know got one to do this with and to those two little uh, USB sticks, which I've been kind of hanging on to those because they have some pretty good stuff on them. I didn't want to reformat them. Uh, they would have been fine, you know. They actually they wouldn't give me any of that trouble and not not recognizing. Uh, not probably what I should have done. Uh, build, build, uh, what I had planned to do is build my multi boot on that SD and then use those to do quick little one-time things you know that's what I need to start doing especially since that thing doesn't always recognize right uh, when it hangs up and stuff so yeah okay we'll make a new plan and we'll try it that way next time okay this is done and I'll come back later with the uh, F-Secure when it's done zero malware found and it's still not showing any percent of how far it's done but it's scanned 1,500 files or directories. Files, I guess. It's not very many. Should have gone more than that by now. So it may be slow. Some of them are fast and some are slow. But it is, it, 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 this one is um, thorough. So that's the main, main thing. Alright. Bye-bye.